Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 30th. This is a daily reading for the 30th. Keep in mind, this is for a general population, so it may or may not be for you. Sometimes these don't even resonate with me, so we'll see what happens. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This is for the 30th, but again, the timing is fluid. There are no timelines, really, okay? But, you know, this is a daily reading, so it may or may not be for the 30th. But, you know, right around that time frame, if the reading is for you. What do we have? What do we have? Judgment, truth, epiphany, awakening, a wake-up call. So some sort of secret may be revealed. The truth is may be revealed. This is a release, a release of judgment, perhaps. Forgiveness. Mmm. King of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. <gasps> ah, interesting. Commitment. Happiness. Ah. Whew. Yikes. Let me just get the rest of the cards. I just, I need to uh, think about this for a minute. Ooh, coming together. This is a blessing. This is a blessing. It is a blessing coming together. Um, the time is now. Divine timing. Ooh, letting go of the past. Somebody is letting go of the past. Giving up. I don't know. Somebody is letting go of the past. They may have been clinging to it for quite some time, but this is changing, evolving. Getting some epiphany that it's time to let it go. Ooh, commitment. Oh my God. These are both cards of commitment. This is Capricorn. This is Taurus. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is Scorpio. This is Sagittarius. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> okay. So. Looks as though we have somebody that <laughs> is feeling conflicted about a commitment. <laughs> ah, jeez, I'm crow. There's a jeez, I'm crow for you. This is conflict about a commitment. And th this is commitment as well about a relationship, whether they want to start a new relationship or not. I feel as though there's definitely an attraction here. There's a strong attraction, a strong desire to partner up. There's a, there is, there is. I feel like somebody has, you know, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Is I'm, I'm absolutely a hundred percent speechless at this point. Um, some, <laughs> I don't even. I am. I'm speechless. You know, there's a definite a desire to, you know, come together. I think two people have been brought together um, for a reason here. Um, <laughs> there's definitely a potential to start something. I think there's a strong, strong, strong attraction that is undeniable. 
I feel as though somebody is uh, really feeling the need to release the past so that they can commit to this new partner. I feel as though the time is now to receive some sort of blessing, something that they have prayed for, and there's a there's a commitment on the way. There's a lot of happiness to be had here. This this whatever this is, this new passionate beginning, this new start coming. This is like this is like I hate to even say it, but these this is like marriage. It is. So this could lead to to marriage, and um, I feel as though. You know, there's there's uh, a feeling of, of burying yourself in everything but love to protect yourself from getting in a commitment, from getting hurt again. But I think the truth, you can't hide the truth. You, somebody, it's like you can't hide the truth. I feel like the truth is, is out. I feel like the truth is out. It is out. And I feel as though, um, oh my God. Two people are coming together at this time because it's it's really meant to be. I feel like the time it's time. It is time. I feel like what, there's been some sort of period of healing, and now, you know, we have a new commitment starting. I feel, and um, so the end of of uh, it's like the end of of being alone, and I feel like somebody is feeling a little com com uh, conflicted about it. You know, there could be some people or somebody on the outside that is jealous. They may not, you know, this could be somebody that's watching and they're jealous of your relationship or they're jealous of your, your happiness. So just beware. Um, I feel as though there's definitely a strong connection and I think that you can feel it. I think the other person can feel it as well. I think that, um, you are being called to have faith at this time and believe, believe in the connection. Don't, don't just, uh deny it because of the past because of what has happened in the past this is an opportunity to bring balance to your life to come together with somebody that you know could really really make you happy so i i really feel like there's an opportunity for a lot of uh you know, happiness and, you know, probably some really good, 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 good uh, bedroom manner, okay? There's probably some really, there's a lot of passion here, a lot of it, um, not a, a lot of uh, sexual attraction here, and I feel as though there's a little bit of, uh, or it could be jealousy, there could be somebody that's jealous, there could be somebody in the past, maybe there's a past, I don't know, somebody may be watching and they're not happy about your newfound partner, whatever. Um, let's get some more cards. Mm. Yeah, this is a, this is a stable, genuine opportunity right here to start over, to begin again, you know, to step outside of your fears. It's like somebody, it's, it's, there's an opportunity to, you know, stop restricting yourself. So I feel like somebody is making a decision to move forward, to start over, to, you know, broaden their horizons and begin again, you know, that's what it looks like to me. I feel like we have somebody here that has made a decision to stop blocking their feelings and start over so it looks to me as though um, somebody is seeing a new opportunity for love it's like I'm not gonna focus on the pain anymore I'm not gonna bury myself I'm gonna let love in and give love a chance so I, I, I really feel like we have two people coming together at this time that is meant to be somebody's going through a transition it's like they, they know the truth they've heard the truth um, they've been given the truth, you know, from above or from their divine guidance or their counselor or whoever, you know, their higher power. They've been, they've heard the truth, they know the truth, and they know that this is a connection that, you know, um, is written, okay? There's a written connection here. And there's definitely a strong, strong, strong attraction that is undeniable. It's meant to be. It is meant to be. 
I feel like somebody has been through some changes and it's like now they know, now they know that it's time to face their fears. It's time to, you know, go down this new, new path. So I, I really feel like somebody is probably receiving a, a message or, or starting over in a new direction. They've made a decision that they are ready to start a new relationship. I feel like they are bound to do so. I think that we have two people that are, you know, this this could be, you know, it is. I feel like, I mean, I think it's part of the you know, script. I do. I think it is part of the script. And I feel as though with that judgment card, this is a give it a chance. You're being called to give it a chance. This is a blessing. It is a blessing. I feel like um, there's an opportunity to blend, to come together. And I feel like we have somebody here that is going through some sort of renewal. And they're releasing the past. And they're ready to allow a new partner into their life so I do see a new partnership here I absolutely do that could lead to commitment and marriage and the whole nine yards and a whole lot of uh, passion to be had as well I mean we have a, a spark that is very very bright I mean we have a it's like this it's on fire this is it's like it is really really on fire this is you know a soulmate connection it really is I feel like this is, is no longer going back and forth. It's letting go of the tension. It's going to bring you relief. Yeah. Yeah, somebody is letting go. I think somebody is letting go of their ego, you know? Somebody has been trying to be controlled, you know, trying to control their urges, trying to control their their feelings, trying to bury themselves in everything but a partnership, but love, but, you know, they've been burying themselves in, you know, perhaps their image, you know, burying themselves in everything but their truth, which their truth is love, right? And it's like now they're realizing that they want love. This is wanting love. I'm not going to focus on this other uh, superficial stuff when love is where it's at. Somebody's been focused on the superficial. And it's like now they realize that it's love. There's love. Yeah, somebody is getting what they deserve. They're getting reciprocation. They're ready to give to a situation. I think there's been a time of waiting. There's been a time of planning. I feel like somebody has been trying to probably push it to the wayside, you know, because of fear, because of ego. They were trying to hide behind the scenes, but I feel like now they're ready to reveal the truth and no longer hide their feelings. They're ready to come together. They're ready to blend. They're ready. The time is now to you know, get engaged. So I do believe for somebody that they are going to be receiving something from a new potential partner that could lead to <laughs> engagement of some sort, you know, uh, yeah. I think this been been slow. It's been slow to come. It has been slow to come. But it is absolutely 100% meant to be. This is a soulmate connection that is undeniable. It is meant to be. It is absolutely 100% meant to be. So we have two soulmates that are coming together, maybe face to face. That is meant to be. So get prepared. Because it's coming. It's here. It's, this is it.
This is it. This is it. Talk to you next time.